Hey everybody, welcome back. Friends to enemies in 10 seconds or less. What is your issue? Why is my best friend texting you? Maybe I was dumb. <laughs> Get ready for the most disgusting mean girl story you will ever hear on this app. And I can guarantee you that. So I befriended the girl that everyone warned me about, but I gave her a chance because she was super sweet and nice to me, mistake. So we were like best friends for like a solid year. We'd always go over to each other's houses. We were we were pretty close and I told her everything. And there's this one time in high school that I was talking to this one guy. I was like, my first crush. And like, I was so obsessed with this guy. You know, like your first high school crush, like you write him in your notebook. You are overly obsessive, but like not even for, like you really didn't even like like him that much. You're just like, it was, it was a crush. So. <laughs> I made the mistake of telling my best friend that I had a crush on a guy. Oh, no. So I told her that I was actively trying to pursue this guy. And, like, right after that, I noticed that they would hang out. That suddenly, they would hang out together all the time. What? And, like, me being, like, all, like, you know, innocent and, like, oh, like, she would never do that to me. Like, yeah. Oh, but she She would. was plotting against me the entire <laughs> time, talking to him. And she, whenever, because she was a year older than me, and so was the guy, and they were both in the same grade, so I would always be like, whenever they're hanging out, I'm just like, put in a good word for me, like, you know what I mean? Like, I really want to leave a good impression on this guy. And we used to Snapchat every single day, until I told my best friend that I like this dude, then suddenly, he just kind of stopped responding as much after a while, and I was like, that's mm. weird, like... I wanted to know, like, what the reason was. I was like, okay, like, this guy, things are going good. Like, then out of nowhere, he just stops responding. Either she talked about you, or he liked her instead. I'm telling you right now, maybe a bit of both. So I'm like, I, and he wasn't responding to me anymore, even whenever I asked. So I went to the guy who I like's best friend. So it was his friend. Um, and I asked him, I'm just like, do you know what happened? Did he ever tell you, like, why we just stopped talking? Like, things were going so good. And he's just like... Oh yeah, he got weirded out because somebody sent him a picture of your journal that said you were like obsessed with him. She went in my room when we were hanging out and I went to the bathroom. I must have been out doing something. She got my journal from my nightstand, flipped through it, took a picture of my journal that said I was like super like crushy, lovey-dovey. I don't even know. It was so embarrassing. And she sent a Snapchat of that fucking notebook of my journal to him. And he got weirded out. Which, as would I. What the f***? Thanks for the good word, though. And they actually ended up dating a couple months later after that. Mm, okay, so it was both. I see. I see how it is. This reminds me of a story when I was in high school and, like, I really liked this guy. I really liked him. He was a basketball guy. He was super tall. He was super cute. And I asked him out. Hey, do you, like, do you want to hang out sometime? Told my best friend about it best friend my best friend went and told the entire school that me and this guy were going to hang out like preemptively telling everyone that we're dating and this dude got so weirded out he thought i was telling everybody that he's my boyfriend like it made me seem like i was obsessed with him and the only person i told was my best friend and she ruined it for me ruined it I am still triggered about this, you, as you can tell. Anyways, she was jealous of you. Yep, that's all it is. I think it is a compliment, really. Some women learn as they get older that like dudes, they ain't worth it. They ain't worth it. There's always another one. Don't be ruining friendships over just some, some guy. But when you're that young, male attention is everything. And some women never outgrow this. Ever. But guess who they need when the boyfriends break up with them? Guess who they run to to talk about their boyfriends to? Guess who they need support from when things go wrong? This gal. That gal. I was absolutely disrespected by one of my friends today, and I need to get the internet's opinion on who's the Me or her. Okay. They don't live here for context, and we were supposed to go to brunch, so I didn't eat all day. Last minute, they're like, you know what? I'm not that hungry. My stomach hurts. Let's eat later. So I said, fine. That's cool. They said, meet me at this jewelry store. Gave me the address. I was there like five minutes early, and because they were coming from like the Upper West Side, I assumed there would be traffic, and they probably weren't going to get there in 15 minutes like they said they were. But regardless, when I arrived, I texted them saying, I'm here. And then I called them, no answer. And then five minutes later, I said, just wanted to make sure you're not already inside. And then five minutes goes by and then 10 minutes goes by. So I try calling again, no answer. So then I texted again and said, hello, it's been like 45 minutes or whatever. 
and then I call again and then I leave because I'm like honestly it was a very busy intersection and people kept like pushing me or going in and out of the door that I was standing in front of and I'm annoyed and getting antsy because it had been an hour at this point which is a long time to not respond to someone that you were actively meeting that day for plans. Totally. So I go around the corner, I film some videos and I just find a seat and then it kind of hits me. It's been an hour. I can't get in touch with them by They're phone call, coming. by text. I even Instagram them, nothing. And I'm like, what if something happened to them? Panic started to set. I almost called their husband to be like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but your girl's dead. And then finally I called her again, then called her again, then called her again, then called her on Instagram. And then she finally answered. And she's like, hey, where are you? I'm in here. And I'm like, what? So she's been in there for an hour didn't think to check her phone at all so obviously when i go in there i'm a little peeved perturbed is that even a word i was i was mad and hungry because we never went for brunch like we were supposed to and i'm like a normal person would have checked their phone and she said that's really rude to say that and i'm like mm, i think what's rude is keeping someone waiting for an entire hour mm -hmm. and then trying to flip the script on them um when they're obviously irritated so Gas let me light. know was that rude am i dumb because she said i should have just came inside but it was like a big mall situation and i just i really didn't expect them to be in there um no you weren't rude at all you said it was a mall how did she even get in there without seeing you multiple entrances honestly i'm already on your side because you were hungry and anything you do at this point is moot so yeah some people saying why didn't you just go inside she could have but that's the difference is she wanted to wait for her friend to go inside. She wanted to wait for her. So she waited outside. She could have gone inside. She could have. I feel like not checking your phone for an hour is the exact same thing as not going into the store you said you'd meet at. Yeah, I don't know about that. If you're meeting up with someone and you're like, hey, where are you? I can't find you. And you're not checking your phone. You're not even like thinking about your friend that you're meeting up with. It's not the same thing to me. Like, it's just not. You could have gone inside. You could have. You're asking if you were a you're not a you're annoyed that you were calling your friend and she wasn't answering and you're supposed to meet up and she didn't you know you're thinking about it's kind of like you have someone in your front of mind and you're thinking about them a lot and you're like you know you don't make plans without them or like whatever and you just like you kind of keep that person in your front of mind so you're thinking about them and then you come to find out that they're genuinely not thinking of you at all like she went there to meet up with you and that whole hour went by and she didn't even think Hmm, I wonder where my friend is. I'm gonna call her. I'm gonna check my phone, see where she is. It's not the same thing, it's not. My boyfriend has been secretly texting with my best friend and I need your guys' advice and just like let me know if I overreacted, but I really think that there is something messed up going on. So things between me and my best friend have not been normal for a while now. About a month ago for her birthday, we had made dinner plans. She blew me off like super last minute. And so then I was bored, had nothing to do, invited my boyfriend to go have dinner with me because I had made reservations and he was busy too, which, you know, now looking back at it, I'm like, hmm, maybe they were together mm. that day. I don't know. Conspiracy theory. But I've been giving my best friend the benefit of the doubt because she's been going through a lot. She just recently had a breakup with a really, really toxic guy that I do not like. And one of the reasons I don't like him is because that guy actually used to be best friends with my boyfriend. And he just caused a lot of problems in our relationship. He was like a very disrespectful person. But anyway, that's beside the point. So about a week ago, I'm laying in bed with my boyfriend and I see a text message pop up on his phone because he's like scrolling through TikTok. And I notice that it is my best friend's name. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Oh, well, maybe it's like somebody else with the same name. Like, no, my friend has a very unique, specific name. Like, I highly, highly doubted that he is talking to somebody else with the same name, okay? But he didn't know that I was looking, so I just kind of was like, you know, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to sleep this off. It's a little bit weird that my best friend is talking to my boyfriend. They, I didn't even know that they had each other's phone numbers. But maybe they're like, I don't know, planning a surprise party for me or something, even though my birthday is like eight months away. A few days go by, I've kind of forgotten about the whole thing, and I'm in his car, and on his Apple CarPlay pops up my friend's name. She has just messaged him. So now, I don't have to act like a crazy girlfriend, like I can actually legitimately ask, why is my best friend texting you? 
and you could tell like he was so nervous that he had been caught talking to my friend like I could see his face just went completely white but he told me that the reason why he was talking to my best friend was because she was having a really hard time with the breakup from the toxic guy and he was kind of helping her through it because he used to be friends with him too so basically he was just like lending her a listening ear and a shoulder to cry on uh -huh. and that seemed like you know a legit excuse i was like what okay, about yeah, you but no, no i'm sorry mm. what about talking to you why is she talking to your boyfriend leaning on his shoulder so to speak and not you you're the friend in this scenario not the boyfriend why wouldn't my friend tell me why wouldn't you tell me why is this being kept a secret from me what do you guys think but i'm a virgo and i'm sorry like that explanation is just not gonna help me sleep better at night so the following evening when i was sleeping over his place i decided that while he was sleeping i was gonna go through his phone because i That's just needed confirmation that the conversation between him and my best friend was not like weird there was nothing weird being said and also i don't know at this point in time i'm just not feeling very sure about my best friend so i go into his Bear. phone yes i know his passcode <laughs> and the messages i see um are a little concerning Basically, in the messages, he's gassing her up. He's saying that she's so beautiful, that she deserves better, that, you know, she, she could do so much better than that guy. And basically saying everything that I could be saying to my friend, but my friend is not confiding in me about her breakup. And I don't know, the messages just made me feel super, super uncomfortable. So I decided to step away from the whole entire situation and relationship. And now I'm wondering if I did the right thing or if this was like super suspicious and sketchy and was going to lead to something potentially bad happening. They were laying the groundwork to have a little affair. Just a nice little spicy affair. Because I'm sorry, why are you talking to and confiding in your friend's boyfriend, but you're not confiding in your actual friend? Make it make sense, because it doesn't. It's not, it's not adding up, bestie. My friend's boyfriend is not my friend. Say it again for the people in the back. Your friend's boyfriend is not your friend. They break up, you are no longer friends with that boy. You're not. You're not. Sorry, you're not. Like, unless you guys were friends first, I'm talking about your friend. Start seeing a guy, they start dating. That's her boyfriend. That is her boyfriend. That guy is not your friend. Once he's gone, there is no need to keep him on social media, to speak to him, to consider him a friend at all. You're done. Helping her through a breakup is always a red flag. Yeah, be freaking for real right now. Like, why is she going to your man to help her through a breakup? Especially when she's ditching you and like not seeing you very often. It's like she's trying to create a little bit of distance between you so she can swoop in and steal your boyfriend. I want to know if you would be upset at your boyfriend for this situation. I've been holding oh, this I'll in tell for you. a while, so it can finally come out. My fiance's Christmas party for his company was obviously at the end of December. It was huge. It was held at a beautiful hotel in New Orleans, hundreds of people, lots of other parties, Christmas parties going on too. Like it was just a lot of people, a lot of chaos, a lot of drinking. We were having fun. Me and my fiance were having a fun night. Like we were drinking, we were laughing, we were talking. I danced a little bit, got to meet some of the coworkers that he sees every single day. Now, everything was going smooth until about two hours into the party, close to midnight. At this point, I am So was everybody else. I go to the bathroom and as I'm washing my hands, two of my fiance's coworkers that he works with every day that I've never met before start talking to me in the middle of the bathroom and they were both messed up. One of the girls is like, we literally have been talking about it all night and you are so pretty and we just can't believe that you're with him. Like you're way too good looking for him, which is not true. And I pretty much told her so. And to be honest, I was taken aback and I probably didn't handle that situation well. Looking back, I should have just slapped some of you probably already know where this is going. I was just like, what? Like, he's an amazing person. He's an amazing father, like a great fiance. Like, I love him so much. So they're going on and on and on about how I am out of his league. You're out of his league, but she's not? We go to some clubs. We come back to the hotel. As we are getting in the elevator, this girl calls my fiance and she says, my friend, the other girl in the bathroom, she is so trashed, she's wasted, she's throwing up, I don't know what to do, she's crying. So us being nice people, we jump into action, right? We get on the elevator, we go to their room. As Soon as we get in there, the girl that called grabs 
my fiance into an embrace like a hug i didn't like it but i was like she's drunk she's young obviously like not been in this situation before and just needs help i did not think much more of it i thought it was weird but i was like whatever she's kind of like eh, like freaking out so he stays with her i go in the bathroom to help the girl who's sick so when i'm in the bathroom i'm like holding her hair trying to give her water and she's insisting that she's okay and y'all she was fine she was older than me she was probably in her mid to late 30s like she was good she told me like I i'm good i got it like she was kind of like mm, I i'm i'm all right so like the girl was messed up but not to the point where they needed help from us or anybody now i'm starting to get suspicious i'm like why the did they call us up here so i grab my fiance and we leave the room as we are walking out he says she was trying to pull me on the ground she was like trying to pull me down onto the bed on the ground like with you there get me to embrace her she was what? trying to pull some slick basically while Ew. i was in the bathroom with her friend so literally right as the hotel door closes behind us i turned around i wish the door would have been open because i was like what the f what is your issue like you need to chill the f out she didn't say anything back to me but my fiance like grabbed me he's like let's go i'm heated we go to the room where this man proceeds to tell me that she's been hitting on him for months like making comments about how he's out of my league looking at me and his picture on the desk like oh you could do better or something like that like he he didn't say exactly the things that she said but that's what i gathered now, they're trying to break you up personally although i know it would make me upset to hear that kind of thing i wish i would have known because that whole situation at the christmas Why party would you have, could have been avoided i yeah. hate being out here looking stupid i hate looking stupid like that like he should have told the last you one to know because if i would have known that she's been hitting on you i would have known what she was trying to pull from the moment that she talked to me in the bathroom when i brought this up in front of some males they were on his side they were like we're not going to tell y'all stuff like that because we don't want to upset you and for what so i see both sides i'm empathetic but being the person on this side doesn't it doesn't feel great that logic never made sense to me. Well, if I tell you, you'll be upset. We always find out and then we'll be double upset. The upset that we would have been is minuscule in comparison to the upset we will be if you are withholding information and lying to us. Okay? Oh, well, you would have been upset. Yes, but if you're forthcoming with information and you're honest with us, we're gonna be far less upset than if you lie and withhold information and we have to find out later anyway, and we always do. Make no mistake, bestie, we will find out. Oh, we will. I don't like that at all. He should have told you. Cause like walking into a situation like that, like you're going, you're meeting the coworkers. I would wanna know who's making the moves. You know what I mean? Because I would wanna know like if the fiance goes out with the coworkers, like who's gonna be there? Is it this girl? I'm gonna wanna know. I'm gonna wanna know if you're going out for drinks with the coworkers. To me, he's hiding it. He's hiding it for a reason. Not the Regina George moment. Oh, you're so pretty. And then trying to scoop up your man. <laughs> oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Tale is all as time. Girl, that's his work wife. That's on period. I'm really hoping that you're not. You're thinking this relationship through. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Confronting my friend for talking to my boyfriend behind my back. You need to stop leaving the fridge open. <laughs> Guess I won't. Um, you need to stop getting blackout drunk. Well, you need to stop getting drunk and calling my man. Why? Like, why are you doing it? Um, I thought- Oh, bestie, I think that was real. It was the friend turning around for me, you know, like this friend right here, you see this? I didn't even know there was a friend there. There's just a friend sitting on the couch, enjoying her nice little time, not paying attention uh, on her phone. You need to stop getting blackout drunk. And then she drops the bomb. Oh, stop getting drunk and calling my man. And there she is. Why? Like, why are you doing it? Um, 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 what? Um, what? I know this is real because of the girl that just kind of stood to attention in the back. This girl is all of us.
story time of the most disgusting thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Like biohazardous level of disgusting. Essentially when I was younger, I was best friends with a pathological liar. This oh, girl was fun. only 12 and she was completely spoiled by her parents. It's like she couldn't function if the attention wasn't all on her. So one day me and a couple of friends and this girl were at dance and we were all sitting on these mats that were like at the end of the hallway. They were like gymnastics mats and they were folded up and so they were stacked really high. Just to give you a visual of where we were, we were sitting on top of those. Imagine that the four of us are all sitting in a row on these mats and this crazy girl was sitting like on the very end and then it was me and then it was the other two. And I was facing this way talking to these other girls because they were talking to me like you face the people you're talking to typically. But that means that the girl sitting over here is not getting her required amount of attention because remember, as I said, she needs to be the center of attention at all times. And this girl was kind of known for doing some outrageous things for attention, which I would absolutely love to do a story time on that a little bit later, but I digress. So I'm talking to these other girls that I'm sitting with and so all of a sudden I feel something wet being smeared down my arm, like right here. Do you remember who was sitting on this side? That girl. I just pinched my eye with my eyelash curler so don't mind me literally crying right now. Turns out this girl stuck her hands down her pants, wiped herself, and smeared it on my arm. I cannot make this up. Let me repeat myself in case you did not hear me. This girl wiped her discharge onto my arm. Literally traumatizing. Every day we stray further and further from God. This isn't even like friends to enemies in 10 seconds or less. This is like normal to clinically insane in 10 seconds or less. Yeah, that's enough internet for the day. <laughs>